Hello friends, today we are going to study measurements like meter, centimeter, kilometer. So let's start. Do you know when measuring tapes were not there, how people used to measure things? Most of the times, they were using arm size. For example, four arms cloth, four arms rope. Arm size is shown on the screen. But the problem was, arm size used to change as per the person. Sometimes it's long and sometimes it's short. Now thanks to measurements, due to which there is no confusion. On screen, you can see the scale. Every one of us have this in our geometry box. It always starts from 0. And its length is 15. Unit for this is centimeter. So let's understand the scale first. This small portion is half centimeter. This 0 to 1 is equal to 1 centimeter. Now 3 to 5 is 2 centimeter. And so on. Length of scale is 15 centimeter. We use this for measuring small things. The first example. Let's measure the length of math stick. Length is from 0 to 5. So 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. Hence it is 5 cm. And do note start point is 0. Now let's measure the length of pencil. So length is from 0 to 9. So, 9 minus 0 is equal to 9. Hence, it is 9 centimeter. Here also, start point is 0. Now, let's measure the length of remote. Length starts from 1 to 8. So, 8 minus 1 is 7. Hence, it is 7 centimeter long. And note here, Start point is 1, not 0. Hence, we did 8 minus 1. You must be wondering, what are the small lines on the scale? These are the millimeter lines. 1 centimeter is 10 millimeter. Hence, 10 small lines are there. 1 cm is written as 1 cm, 1 mm is written as 1 mm. But we can't use this for bigger things. For this, we have an another measurement. You must have visited the cloth shop with your parents and must have noted meter rod there. The salesperson uses this for measuring the cloth. Even we can have it at home. Not rod, maybe a rope of 100 centimeter because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. 1 meter can be written as 1 m. So let's see some examples. This is the cloth shop, what I was talking. Now, customer is asking for 5 meter cloth. So, 5 meter means 5 into 100 centimeter. That is 500 centimeter. But it is easy to say 5 meter cloth than saying 500 centimeter cloth. Hence, we use meter for bigger things. On screen, you can see a table with 9 meter length, 3 meter height, width 1.5 meter. So, the length of the table is 900 centimeter or 9 meter. 
Similarly, the height of the table 3 meter or 300 centimeter. Now, width of the table is 1.5 meter. 100 centimeter plus 50 centimeter. That is 150 centimeter. Please note, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. You can do this small activity at your home. Like measuring the door height or length of your bed, etc. But what about the larger things? Like distance from home to school. For this, we have new measurement unit. That is kilometer. On screen, you can see distance between home and school is 7.5 kilometer. See here, 1 kilometer is 1000 meter and half kilometer is 500 meter. Hence, the total is 7500 meter. It's easy to say 7 and half kilometer rather than 7500 meter. Hence, we use kilometer for large things. Let's take one more example. The distance between Pune and Mumbai is somewhere around 150 kilometer which comes 1 lakh 50,000 meter after converting. Again note here 1 kilometer is 1000 meter. I hope you are clear with measurement units now. So let's have a small quiz. In the first column there are list of the objects. You have to find out the suitable measuring unit for them. For length of the table which unit you are going to use? It should be meter. For distance between Pune to Delhi, it should be kilometer. Thickness of paper, it should be millimeter. Papa's height, it should be meter. Length of a glass, it should be centimeter. Length of mobile, it should be centimeter. Length of bed, it should be meter. Distance between Pune to Agra, it should be kilometer. Isn't it simple now? In the next video, we will study the another measurement. Like yard, foot, inches. So do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe. Have a nice time.